What's up, everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. The markets are having a comeback day. After being down just a bit, the markets have rallied up and we're starting to get a signal here on the queues. I'm interested in buying uh, the 211 call options that expire in seven days. Currently, they're trading at 499 by 507 maybe maybe i might buy two it's still too early um it's about what 36 minutes until this current candle closes so unless it actually starts taking off i'll uh, buy one and uh as a starter as a starter we'll see where it goes from here uh we still got a long time until this candle closes Alrighty, everybody i know we're still about 18 minutes until this candle closes but I went ahead and bought one, knowing and understanding that I want to buy another one. I want to go ahead and, and get myself into a starting uh, starter position in case it continues going up. Um, if it does, I, I'll just keep that one. And But if it goes down a little bit more uh, within the next 18 minutes or so and I get a better entry, I'll be able to buy another one. Let me show you that um, buy order. Again, I bought the 211 calls that expire in seven days on the queues. I bought it at $5.23. And I'm hoping that um, I can get myself into uh, another contract. Alrighty, I am going to go ahead and buy a second contract here. Alrighty, I got a second one at $5.21. Bought that first one at 523, bought a second one at 521. Obviously my average is 522. So let's go ahead and find out where I want to sell the first one. 522, multiply that by 0.1 plus 522. I want to set a sell order at 574. Limit order, reset, review, send, and it's working awesome i'm just gonna let it run let's hope that the cues just take off from here as always that is always my hope um i, I have a lot of um faith in this strategy let's see what happens if not this is going to be a big loss for me probably about 30 percent 40 percent uh we'll see how it goes guys i'll keep you updated Alrighty, folks, I am back at my desk here, and I see that uh, we're getting close to getting sold out. I believe I have a sell order in, set in at 574. 574. Yep, 574. Let's see if I can get filled. Getting close there. One more cent, and then I'll be on the ask. Let's see. Let's see. Getting kind of nervous. I'm on the ask here. I got the finger on the trigger here to sell at markets um, understanding that we're going into the weekend and if anything happens uh, starts to go down at a um, fast rate so to speak I'll just sell out but I still have that uh, order in at 574 let's see if we can get filled going for another push here let's see if it sells me out I'm on the ask again and and it sold me out at that 10% gain right there. I locked in some profits. Awesome. I am actually really, uh, <laughs> really proud of myself for holding on there. I almost sold. Now, it's not a question of if I win, if I make a winning trade, it's a matter of how much I make. Made another winning trade. I'm really proud of myself on this one. 574 target price that is awesome guys let's see what the rest of the day basically the last 20 minutes has in store for us <music> oh 
Alrighty guys, I went ahead and sold that second contract at $5.90. That was a great, great trade in my book. Super stoked about this trade. Thank you so much for watching. I This was a, a long trade in, in my book. It was a long trade, but that was awesome. I am super stoked about it. What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today is Friday, April 24th, TGIF. I made another winning trade, that is right. I made $120. I'm really happy about that as I continue to climb on this awesome ladder. I'm really excited about this strategy. It's working time and time and time again, it's working. There are going to be some times where it doesn't work. Um, we've seen those times. and But what I'm betting on here is that it's going to make more winning trades than losing trades. Even though on those losing trades, I might lose more than what I typically make on those times that I sell at you know just 10% gains. Um, or I should say those times that I only sell at half at 10%. And the other half I end up selling at even money. In those in those cases, um, those 10% gains are gonna cover any of those big bigger losses. Today, today's trade was a bit different. I'm still trying to get myself comfortable enough to um, as soon as I sell at 10%, hold that uh, second one for bigger gains um, overnight. Today, of course, it's Friday, so you know, through the weekend. Mm, do, I don't really want to risk it. That's, that's the honest truth. I don't want to risk that time decay of uh, going through the weekend and holding on to that other contract, even though that the markets could gap up on Monday. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I keep asking myself this question. Why does this strategy work? I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know why. It's one single indicator. How many times have you heard from everywhere that not one single indicator is the best indicator to day trade i think i found it here i want to try to figure out why it works i don't want to think too much or get myself wrapped up in the you know mechanics or whatever you want to call it i just want to learn more about why does that this strategy work why does this indicator work the mobo bands it is not my indicator i've said this time and time again it's not my indicator I don't sell it, I simply purchased it and I'm using it, I'm putting it to use. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below where you can get access to it. I have no affiliation with the author or the creator of the Mobo Bands Indicator. Just wanna put full disclosure out there just in case. But thank you everybody so much for watching. It's pretty interesting how this is really working i'm again really just excited and happy so i'm gonna go on my daily run here see you guys here on the very next trade hoping it's another green trade you guys have a nice and awesome weekend tgif everybody be safe you guys take care